Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making some Milky Way resin coasters and we're going to be doing these in a darker blue color combination. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be pouring these in two layers. The first layer I'm going to go in and fill my molds up halfway. When I do these, I always like to go in with a diagonal line of fireworks glitter from Laura's Art Corner. You can use any glitter that you want to use. I just really like this one because it's super sparkly and it has a lot of nice different colors in the glitter itself. So it pairs nicely with pretty much any color combination. And then after I go in with my glitter, I'm going to go in with some alcohol ink. This is just about 10 drops of blue sapphire alcohol ink mixed with clear resin and I'm just adding a few dollops on each side of that line of glitter that I added. And now I'm going to go in with some blue interference mica powder just right on top of that blue alcohol ink and glitter. And I did mix up my resin off camera for this set. I am using the Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy, but if you're new to resin and you want to see step by step how I mix my resin, I will link my Milky Way coaster tutorial down below in the description box. Be sure to go check it out. In that video, I show you step by step how I mix my resin and my pigments, and I do it the same way every time. So I just cut the mixing out of this video. Now I'm going to go in with some clear and just pour that right on top of the alcohol ink and the mica powder and that's going to give you a lot of depth and dimension. It's going to kind of push those colors to the side and give you a little bit of negative space. And on this set I purposely didn't want to add any white because I wanted to show you the difference in how they turn out if you don't add any white to this first layer of artwork that you do. I hit it with my heat gun on low to pop bubbles and now I'm going to go in and just blend everything together with a silicone paintbrush. And that's going to be it for layer number one. I'm just going to blend everything together and then I'm going to let them dry overnight. And tomorrow I'm going to go in and add a white backing layer. I'm just going to fill the molds up the rest of the way with some white tinted resin. I'm going to be using Angel White Epoxy Paste for this. And Looking back, I wish I would have filled my molds up with clear resin because I really liked how they were looking from the top side. Um, but I did go in with the white because I wanted to show you um, adding a white backing layer really makes that first layer of pigments that you added pop. It makes your colors a lot more vibrant. Um, but I'm not like super crazy with how this set turned out on the bottom side. So looking back, I wish I would have just gone in with clear and filled the molds up the rest of the way with clear resin, but it is what it is. Um, I still think they're kind of pretty. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I do really love this technique. It's super fun and easy to do. Um, but it does make a difference. Um, like I said, if you don't add white to that first layer of artwork that you do. I have made two other sets like this previously on my channel and on those pieces I did add white in that first layer. Um, so definitely go check out those videos so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Throwing a little bit of white in that first layer does give you a lot more depth and dimension and um, it just makes them turn out a little bit prettier in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think of this set down in the comments. I'm not super crazy about them, but I still wanted to post this video to show you. Um, it does make a difference. You know, like I said, if you add white in that first layer, I do really love the fireworks glitter though. So I think that this set might be a good candidate to do a layer of artwork on top of um, the coaster and I have a few other videos on my channel showing step by step how I do that so I'll link those down below as well if you guys want to check them out but let me know what you guys think of this set down in the comments thank you so so much for watching I appreciate you guys so much don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and go check out a few more of my other videos that would really help me out a lot helps out my channel if you watch a few of my videos back to back and as always I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye guys